here to review Armand's spoils of war. So let's see if he's found any new shenanigans. By the way, I was playing with the Doctor's mod, and you can't do a move like that because uh, scouts have four spotting, so they'll see they'll see that, and the scout can. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not why. Scouts have ten movement, not eight, so the scout in the south can hit you there. If you play with the Doctor's mod, this is the first scenario where everything changes because of stats changes he made, and you have to completely rethink how to play it. Okay, so... So he's probably he's gonna do what Soren recommended. Mop this up and then ambush. Yeah, this is the Soren method. be watching Panzer Corps 20 years from now, and you'll still see this. <laughs> so this is, this is an unusual move. He's really aggressively... I think what he's doing is... Uh, he's intentionally damaging the auxiliary units so that he can force surrenders. Like, I think he can get more prestige from forcing surrenders with really weak auxiliary units. just shatters. It always entertains me that you can shatter in three turns almost the entire first wave. And he's using creative movement with the 10-6 to get a surrender, which is nice.
probably can. Yeah, he's gonna get a couple more surrenders. And because he attacked with a three strength Panzer Jaeger, he gets extra prestige. Another surrender. I wonder how long it took him to come up with this stuff. Everything is so precisely calculated. Four turns. He took out, I don't know, half of the fighting force. I don't think you're ever going to see anyone do better. I think he's farming for kills on the artillery. Because they're harder to get heroes on. Yeah, he's abusing Oladir's movement. He never switched Oladir to a pioneer, so he can move through hills easily. farm kills with the level bomber with the tank on the river. It's very clever. He's just shattered this second wave. Yeah, so you're gonna see him systematically push the units back, and keep farming. I've never seen anyone do this so successfully. He, he doesn't want to kill everything, because he needs to get kills. And he can get prestige. So, there's only four core slots on this map. So, like, he can't really farm prestige by letting the AI purchase units. But he can farm prestige by forcing surrenders on units that are reinforced.
I've never, this is such a creative surrender. My AI basically couldn't even cross the river, the second wave. That is wild. And he just farms them. See, this is so, this is next level. Um, I think the weakness with Soren's approach is he was like, okay, we have to kill things as fast as possible and guarantee the kills. And it's like the number one thing he's focused on besides controlling the Air Force. The issue with that is you're missing, uh, you're missing kill farming. So Armand is trying to hyper accelerate hero accumulation. And he, he looked at this map and he thought, what if I park these AI units on the river and I farm them on the river? I'm going to get a ton of extra kills with all kinds of unusual units. And I can let the AI drain its prestige, you know, reinforcing. And what happens is you get extra prestige and you get more heroes more quickly. So Soren has a, a chart of theoretical maximum prestige that he calculated for Manstein. But the weakness of that chart is he isn't thinking about surrenders. Look at this. You know, he's going to get, we can't see it because, okay, he got like 26 prestige or something from that surrender. And then he gets 11 kills. This reinforces. Notice that the cavalry is on the river. He's putting units in highly exposed positions. I've never seen the map tackle like this before. Again, the level bomber isn't necessarily getting lucky. It's attacking a tank on a river. The fence values of your units are lower. farm kills on the scout with tactical bombers. So so Armand's not thinking about efficiency of distribution of kills. All he cares about is acquiring heroes as fast as possible. Because he wants to be able to efficiently mop up. Yeah, like my weakness with playing on ultimate mode is I wanted a kill distribution that was even. And so I wouldn't necessarily use the most aggressive units or the best killing units because I wanted all of my units to get heroes. But in ultimate mode, like, that just doesn't work. You gotta kill things a lot. So he can farm with the 88 gun, which just, like, endless farming, you're going to see this. And, and again, the, the tanks, because he's blocked the bridges, his tanks are going on the river. Beautiful. And the tank is on the river. Has anyone ever seen so many enemy units parked on a river before? Sure, Helmet Lent. Helmet Lent might have 150 kills. Maybe not 150, he might have like 110 kills. 
from one scenario because he's farming so much on the river. So the AI has 800 prestige. It's kind of wild the AI has so much prestige, but is reinforcing all the time. Two level bombers, yeah, that's probably enough. And a badly damaged Panzer Jaeger, so he gains. I think he, if I'm not mistaken, I think he gained like a hundred prestige, which is wild. It's interesting looking at the behavior because it's not clear where to move. You know, the bridges are secured, so. And he gets that anti tank. That's just. That anti tank is getting a lot of love. So now he crosses the river and he's going to squeeze the AI. kills he got on that anti-tank. He might have broken a hundred in this one battle on that anti-tank. That's a crazy number of kills for an anti-tank.
Yeah, he's very Air Force heavy. I think the AI has 400 prestige left. Probably getting like a hundred and fifty kills from the tactical bomb. Literally forcing them to the edge. Notice that he's not parking units next to these guys over here. Uh, so they can fully reinforce, which is just more prestige. So now you see the full extent of his brilliance. All of these incredibly weak auxiliary units can now force surrenders. Blow up. That was like 60 prestige right there.
disgusting. He almost map wiped it. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's this is how Armand's accumulating so much prestige. That was a masterclass demonstration.